Gilgamesh released yesterday, and I was very excited to see how good he was. And he felt okay. If you didn't know, he's a 5 cost, 7 power card, with an ability that reads, on reveal, plus 1 power for each of your other cards in play with increased power. So basically, he's really good with blue marble. <laughs> um, honestly, he himself felt pretty good. I played him for like 514 a lot, 515, 513, like he's a really big card. I don't know if I was just having a bad day or just not playing the right decks, but I was having a lot of trouble translating him feeling like an okay card into getting wins. <laughs> um, anyways though, this is the deck I played today, and like I said, it just didn't do all too well for me, but it was the best Gilgamesh deck that I tried. Most of the time, you'll want to dump all of your one-cost cards on turns 1, 2, and 3, then you can set up a Khazar and Blue Marvel on 4 and 5, and then either Shadow Kane and Mockingbird or Gilgamesh and Mockingbird, depending on the situation, on 6. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the games, and make sure to comment down below what you think of Gilgamesh so far. I would love to know. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, we can spider him. That's fine. We hit their shaw. Okay. So they're like devastatingly sad about that. <gasps> Elysium. A man. <laughs> we don't even need this max energy, actually. Oh, they kill Monger way too early. Way too early there. Um. All right, let's see what we do. I think we're gonna just Nico Kazar here. And then we're probably, yeah, I mean, we're gonna hope that we can get something to help fill up left next turn. Oh, okay. Getting squirrels on the board isn't horrible. It actually allows us to play Mockingbird left which I think we're really happy about. Nova, okay. So yeah, we're gonna buff this Kazar. The Kazar's gonna buff all our stuff. Super happy for Gilgamesh there. Uh, yeah, we always... Mm, we actually, we do it this way because they're gonna fill up, yeah. And we want us both to get the buff. Shauna, it would have happened after the on reveal and it just wouldn't have been fast enough. Um, so here, they storm Nova Roma. Okay. Fun. I think... We do get Shadow King. We're going first, though. Do we ever... Gilgamesh this turn? I think... I think there is reason to do that. Yeah. Gilgamesh is technically better with a blue marvel first. I just feel like we might be showing a little bit too much of what we can do here. But we are just going to 100% secure right. And then, oh... Well, that's kind of sad, but, um... I don't know if they realize that they're not winning this. Because, like, they have a surfer, right? They don't have a wand in this deck. That's never happening. It, it, yeah, they're just... <laughs> they're still not winning. G Gilgamesh Blue Marvel is just too big. Um, I was going to say, <laughs> they're mad about the blue marble. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about the blue marble, but, um, <laughs> no, I was going to say maybe they're hoping that the pig will get buffed by surfer, but pig will not get buffed by surfer. It's a zero cost. Um, it technically costs three for them to play, but that's because it was buffed three cost. The pig is zero cost at base. So... Yeah, but even if the pig got buffed, they weren't winning. So, doesn't matter. <laughs> Good win for us. Awesome. 
Alright, Sokovia gets rid of our Kazar. That's a little bit mean. Um, yeah, I think... We play the Nico here, because, like... Worst case scenario, we end up discarding an Ant-Man. Which I think is okay. Ant-Man's not... Like, he gets big in this deck, but not... He's not, like, vital to it. We would rather have the rest of our deck, you know? Uh, Sanctum Sanctorum. Alright. So we can reach that with Squirrels. And with Shauna. Yeah, I think this is fine. It is a little bit risky to play Shauna because of space limitations. But I think we will probably be okay with doing that. I don't see a problem with it. Um, like, obviously, space, limit space limitations, but it's, that's not too much of a problem. That's, like, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just play Shauna, right? They play Angela, Snow Guard. Cool. Um... Titania. That's interesting. Um, do we ever like full on go with this? What was Nico's thing, by the way? I didn't see it. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I did not see what it was. So we're gonna we're gonna go with this. I was so shocked by the Titania. Didn't realize what Nico's on reveal was. Maybe we're never gonna know. Maybe it already happened. I don't know. Anyways. They get pretty big right. Which I don't love. I don't think that's super great for us. Like, we could just Gilgamesh mid. I know it kind of feels bad right now because we're well, it's only three, but Gilgamesh is still a 512. Which is pretty good and beats their Mockingbird. So there we go. I think we're pretty happy about that, all things considered. I mean Shadow King Wright is is pretty good, I think. Is that what we want to do? Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Um, so yeah, I was debating like which of these we should do. I think Shadow Cane isn't too horrible. It's also not wonderful. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we just want to do this. Well, no, Shadowkin. Shadowkin is too much of a um, too much of a swing. Yeah, they just retreat because they didn't win Sanctum. Um. Anyways, yeah. Sorry about <laughs> that cut there. My internet <laughs> has been bad all day. I'm just trying to record a video. But there we go. <laughs> all right. I don't love doing Spider Ham on one, but it's okay. We can go with it. Maybe we hit an infinite, it pulls the infinite, but it reveals after our shadow cane and we set it to zero. You know, Thanos is almost that. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought I saw the line, but I indeed uh, did not. So, let's see. Two raptors. Not horrible, actually, for us. Um, we just don't do anything here. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Um, time stone, cool. Tarnax, okay. Is this a horrible idea? Probably. Let's wait one second. <laughs> Let's wait just a moment. Because I think while we do like changing Shauna, we don't like changing Mockingbird and Gilgamesh, right? So if we ever want to play those right, that would be terribly sad. 
Uh, so we'll just change it out with Nico. And Mansa card we can play next turn. I think that's fine. Um, if we even want to ever play Ant Man, I think if we play Ant Man, we're waiting till six. It's just gonna be Kazar right next turn. Um, interesting. So we're gonna hit Thanos again. The Bast is something. Huh. Oh, they also change it. Change it to Titan. All right. Power Stone gets turned off. No power for Thanos. Also, that wouldn't have worked because Thanos doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> it's a pig. So let's play Kazar this turn. And then I really hope that we top deck Gilgamesh. That would be pretty fun. Um, if we don't, Ant-Man Mockingbird is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. We'll just decide where to play them. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where it takes us from there. 11 power left is really not that much. We're definitely not happy about that. But we are going to boost it up a little bit, up to 14. Play like Kyra. All right, so yeah, Mockingbird's going to go right. Ant-Man's going to go mid. And this is about the best that we can do. I hope it's good enough. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, what would I expect them to do here? E, I don't know. There's a lot of things they could do. Most of the time Thanos wants to play a big six cost on six, and I don't feel like any big six cost wins this. So... I don't really think they're going to win this. I don't... They split it up, okay. That makes sense. I just, I don't see... Mockingbird... And the pig. Yeah, see. It did not end up being enough. They were able to flip left, but we beat them right. And, uh, yeah, nice win for us. Alright, yeah, Nebula left is fine. Nebula is good into X-Mansion because X-Mansion obviously puts a card there without you actually playing it. So Nebula's happy about that. Is that just a normal Misty Knight? What? <gasps> ego. I am Ego, and this is my domain. Come on, snap on Ego. No, this is devastating. Uh, old school Patriot deck? I feel like this is probably a bomb. Oh, this is amazing. Ego, you got this. I believe in you, my friend. All you gotta do is play the Blue Marvel before the Gilgamesh, and you won't mess it up. This is great. Uh, what do they get? They get an Iron Lad, which hits a Squirrel Girl. Crazy. We get an Arrow. All right. Net power gain for us. Mockingbird left, Spider-Ham mid. Okay, I see it. That's not horrible. Now, Ego, remember, like I said, you gotta play the Blue Marble first. Do not play Gilgamesh first. That would be bad. Killing their white tiger. Ego's actually insane. Okay, come on. And no, not that. Anything other than that. That was a bad. That was a bad draw. They're not a bad draw. Bad play. Um. Okay, come on. Gilgamesh. You know it's a play. It's a play. Come on. Patriot. Maybe? We tie. <gasps> we win by one. <laughs> oh my god, Ego. You saw the lines. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I'm sorry I doubted you, Ego. I apologize. It's entirely my bad. <laughs> we get the win, nice. All right, X-Mansion. We could get, like, another Ant-Man. 
I think we're fine with that. We're fine with another Ant-Man. We're okay with playing Nico left here. Because we're going to buff Nico up. Normally I don't like playing into X-Mansion until seeing what's revealed there, but it's fine. It's not that big of a commitment, and we can buff it. Um, so yeah, Ant-Man goes right here. Don't want to put two cards there yet. <laughs> On three, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to a Shauna if we draw it. Um, could just play another Ant-Man right. Same Forge. Uh, Alright. Lemuria. Okay. I think... We're gonna go with something like this. Let's see, what do we get off of X-Mansion? They get Lockjaw. We get Annihilus. Okay. So overall, we, we won that. Uh, yeah, we can play Kazar here. That's fine. We could arguably just Kazar into Gilgamesh mid and then figure out what we want to do on the final turn. Which we might do. It's it's okay. Uh, both Ant-Man's reveal. We kill their cloak. That's fun. And then Kazar. There we go. They play Dagger. An Iron Fist. Iron Fist swaps in for Craven. The Torch is going to go mid. And what do they got there? A Hulkbuster. Okay. Um. Interesting. So, Shauna. Shauna's not bad. It's just that she does so much. <laughs> does a little bit too much. Let's put Gilgamesh mid. Okay. Gilgamesh mid might have been a mistake. I think we wanted Gilgamesh left. But we have priority. So... Like, if this... If this is a Heimdall, which it could be, I think we're fine. I do like this play. Because it kills the dagger and pig. So I think that's pretty good. We get an Electro roll. Oh, it's just Iron Fist. Well, this this was obviously a bot. Because that's not a real play. <laughs> Unless they were trying to high roll into a Heimdall. But even if they got a Heimdall, they would have lost. So, um, yeah. <laughs> good win for us there, I guess. Alright. Yeah, we can Squirrel Girl. I think that's fine. They play Nova, which is worrying. Um, yeah, I don't love that. Don't super love that. Um, we're going to go with this because I don't want them to be able to take too much advantage of cloning bats. Oh! Fun. I don't think... I don't think that they play uh, Killmonger this turn. Even if they do, I think we're fine. They don't. They're saving the Killmonger in their hand. And that's good for us, because we want Killmonger to make its way all the way to the left. Now, we do kind of have to pull the trigger on a spider ham this turn. Yeah. So we'll go with this. If this hits Killmonger, I think we're safe. We're happy and good. If it doesn't hit Killmonger, that gets considerably more difficult. No, it hits Green Goblin. Did they play a Killmonger? I'm really hoping they didn't. Oh, it's a Warpath. Okay, they might not even have Killmonger. 
I'm now of the opinion that this is a bot. <laughs> because there's no way. Let's see what we're drawing. We're drawing Nebula. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think this is a bot. I'm not confident enough to snap, though, because I'm terrified of the Killmonger. Uh, okay. I mean, what even is that? <laughs> what even is that? Alright, come on, stay. Let me get the really big Gilgamesh. Alright. <laughs> well, good win for us, I guess. But I, I was scared for a second, but uh, no, it's a bot. So never mind. <laughs> All right. Um Well, this sucks. <laughs> this is just just not good for us. Um Like, I don't, I don't know how else to <laughs> say that. It's just, just not very great for us, is it? You know? I mean, I guess they also play Blue Marvel. No way they play Gilgamesh, right? Gilgamesh goes to 10. Gilgamesh <laughs> goes to 10. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's a game that happened. <laughs> Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I think you'll love this one I made about a Darkhawk deck. It was a lot of fun, and Darkhawk is definitely one of my personal favorite decks. Other than that, make sure to like and subscribe, because I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.